Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Shivan and I'm a third year medical student now going into my fourth year of medical school at King's College London. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about what the more useful tool is for medical school. Is it the iPad or is it your laptop? So both are inarguably tools that uh, make your life easier at medical school. In a way, you can even call them an essentiality. And sometimes it's not possible to invest in both of them. So as someone who's used both, I'm going to go through both of them. And I'm going to talk a bit about the pros and cons of each one. And do a little bit of an analysis and tell you which one is the better tool to use for medical school. Which one you should invest in and which one you can you know hold off on but before i do that i want you to go check out my youtube channel because over there i make videos about medical school and university so that includes vlogs and day in the life videos videos about how to get into medical school and university and similarly videos about how to survive medical school and university so go check that out and if you enjoy my videos if you like my content then smash that subscribe button and join me for a lot more. So without holding off any further, let's get into this battle of the iPad versus the laptop. So I'm gonna begin just by talking about a few uh, benefits of the laptop and then I'm gonna move on to discussing the iPad. Uh, I mean, in discussing the cons of each one, I'm kind of discussing the pro of the other one. So. You know, you you'll get it. Let's 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 just get into it, and uh, yeah, not waste any more time. So a laptop. I think everybody knows what a laptop is used for. Everybody's really used one, at least at some point in their life. And uh, a laptop is one of the most basic and essential forms of technology that you can use, and uh, it'll definitely definitely be useful at medical school because uh, yeah what, what are the basic functions of a laptop I mean using the internet uh, looking stuff up uh, you know using different websites watching videos on YouTube um, uh, writing documents creating presentations um, for me editing videos uh, there's I mean there's no end to the use of a laptop and it has great versatility as well a laptop is also a very powerful device when you compare it with a tablet. It'll have much more processing power, it usually has more storage as well. It's capable of executing uh, more functions at the same time, uh, which, which is good because that just means it's an efficient device. In general, all the sort of uh, different things I mentioned, looking up stuff, using websites, writing documents, creating presentations. I find that all of these are easier to do on the laptop because of the use of the keyboard and the ability to type really quickly on a laptop and uh, just, you know, having multiple tabs open and switching between them. It all just feels easier on a laptop. But uh, that's a, I mean, that's a con of the iPad that can uh, really be overcome quite easily. All you have to do is just get a keyboard for your iPad. Now, I personally have not done that, so I can't really comment on how well that works as a solution, whether it's exactly the same as using a laptop. I, I don't think it is, but uh, it's definitely a quick and a decent solve. A good laptop should also last you a really long time. So it'll last you at least five years, I think, but that also really depends on the laptop you choose. The better the laptop is, that usually the longer it lasts. So for example, I've been using Apple laptops for the past like, I don't know, seven, eight years. And uh, I saw that my MacBook Air lasted about four years after which I started seeing serious decline in function. And uh, my MacBook Pro, it's been about three and a half years and it's working pretty well, touch wood. So I think that's all the basic stuff surrounding a laptop and it's used in medical school. Uh, the way you use a laptop in medical school is no different from the way you use it for any other degree, any other purpose. Uh, it's essentially just all of the same things. Now let's talk about the iPad. What are the added positives of an iPad that a laptop doesn't have? Well, there are a few of them, and although they're not that many, the few that are there are quite important. So firstly, 
the iPad has uh, better portability and uh, it's more portable and uh, it's more convenient as well. So although these look like they're a pretty similar size, you know, uh, this is significantly heavier than this one. And it's so easy for me to just, you know, close my iPad case and it's like such a light thing to carry no matter where I go, if I'm walking around the library, I can honestly even carry it in the hospital. It's, uh, it's, it's a super convenient device. Although, I mean, although my laptop is pretty decent for a laptop, like in terms of weight, size, all of that, it's still not as convenient. A lot of times when I'm studying for, let's say, OSCEs in the library and stuff like that, and I don't have to take heavy notes, write up documents, I just need to be using some like apps or uh, some simple things and I need to be taking simple notes and stuff like that, I just use my iPad. The iPad also allows you to take tactile notes, which is a big plus. Uh, because for a lot of people taking actual handwritten notes really helps them and the iPad allows you to do this in a more efficient way uh, because you don't need to carry a big bag of stationery, uh, hundreds of notebooks or a big file or anything like that. Uh, it's a much more condensed, simple uh, form of doing it and uh, there are many added functions of taking tactile notes on an iPad. There's some, I mean, some benefits that just can't be contested like for example uh, being able to draw diagrams and uh, I think very importantly the ability to annotate. In medical school a lot of times in subjects like anatomy and stuff like that you get such a large amount of content that it just doesn't make sense to repeat everything in your notes like write everything again so it's sometimes really useful to just save stuff and to annotate it. Uh, and the iPad allows you to do that really efficiently. The iPad also allows you to use interactive apps and one I mentioned very often that I myself didn't use at the time but uh, I would find it really useful and I may get it now as well in my fourth year of medical school because uh, you know it's always helpful to revise anatomy and so the app is called Complete Anatomy and it's just it gives you the ability to dissect a body literally on your iPad, uh, spin it around, uh, have a 3D view of it, cut through layers, stuff like that. It's amazing. There are also a few other apps, so for the tactile hand and note taking and making diagrams and stuff like that, I suggest using Good Notes or Notability. I'm sure you've heard of them. They're amazing apps. I use Good Notes personally because that was my preference. And uh, then, yeah, there are many other small things you can do on the iPad. Um, with that function. Another non-medical school related thing, uh, I think the iPad is an amazing device in terms of uh, convenience and travel and stuff like that because uh, if you're traveling it's just so convenient to, for me to download movies and like you can even download games and stuff like that and you get the nice big screen compared to your phone and uh, you can watch stuff and then you can actually go and you can study your notes on your iPad. You can take handed notes while you're in a plane, while you're in a train, in a car. Probably not in a car, but whatever. You get what I'm saying. It's a convenient device to use on the move. So right, that's, uh, that's a lot of stuff about laptops and iPads. So let's come to a conclusion now. So, drum roll. My decision or my conclusion personally is that a laptop is significantly more important than an iPad in medical school. The iPad gives a lot of cool medical school themed functions that make it seem super important. Um, I'm not saying that it's not useful, it definitely is, but a laptop is essential. Now this is a bit confusing because most people already have some sort of laptop uh, when coming into medical school that they've probably been using for school or whatever. So, uh, in that case, what I would say is that if your laptop is functioning well, uh, if it has a good amount of storage, if it has a uh, drama, let's say, over 8 GB, and uh, if it has good processing power, it works quickly, it's not old, it's not slow. I mean, don't quote me on all the technical things because I'm not great with technology. Uh, I mean, I'm not the best with it. Uh, so, but just personally as someone who uh, uses both of them, 
uh, always use laptops and iPads in medical school and in school and stuff like that. I'm just saying don't use an old and slow laptop because uh, that's just going to make your life so much harder. But if your laptop is functioning fine, if it's okay, if it's working, if it's doing all the basic stuff well and quickly, then you can consider the benefits of the iPad more useful than the benefits of getting a new laptop. A good, well-functioning laptop is priority number one. Then uh, getting an iPad or actually any sort of a tablet, the iPad I'd say is probably the best one, but getting any sort of tablet is num priority number two. And then uh, getting the best laptop with all the other good functions and stuff like that, or getting a new laptop, that's priority number three. Just follow that hierarchy and you probably won't go wrong if you agree with most of the stuff I said in this video. An iPad is an amazing tool. Uh, it enhances your, uh, you know, your studying process in medical school a lot. But again, like I've said repeatedly, it's not essential. If you can invest in an iPad, do that. You'll enjoy it. You'll make use of it. It'll benefit you. But if you can't, don't worry. You can still get through just fine. You'll, you know, you'll figure out a way that's just as efficient and works just as well for you although it may take you some time but uh, you don't need an iPad although you could use it if you get what I'm saying anyway uh, that wraps up this video uh, I hope you found it useful I hope this gave you some insight into which tool is better to use at medical school a laptop or an iPad but with that I am gonna sign off and uh, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, drop a like down below, smash that subscribe button, leave any comments asking me any questions you have or anything like that and I'll do my best to respond to them. And uh, share the video with your friends in medical school, thinking about technology, any of those things. And I will see you in the next one.